Come on, how do you get lightning items? How do you dunk? This video is going to show you everything you need to know about playing Basketball Stars 2 when it comes to dribbling, shooting, badges, how to get them, you name it, I'm going to tell you. Why am I bald? Alright, so when, when you first join this game, Basketball Stars 2, you'll see four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I don't care, buttons. Play, customize, shop, your friend icon, gear, well actually settings, <laughs> and the trophy which is your um, achievements so starting off when you want to play the game actually play the game you can join a standard server a park if you're level four plus and a um, private server you want to just play with your friends i don't think you gain any xp or match progression in private servers so i just go standard and park but standard there's three different types of servers beginner intermediate and advanced advanced being for a level 11 plus I forgot the level requirements for beginners and intermediate because I haven't played no servers in a long time. So there's that. That's when you all uh, want to play the game. Now let's go into uh, quickly go over customize. You can go over um, your accessory settings, hide your sleeve, your headband. <laughs> I have the lightning ones. Change the color of your jersey if you want to. Change the height of your character that can affect your overall gameplay. The taller you go, the less shooting you have, the less handles you have. But you get way more contests, but you also get way less ability to do moving shots. But the smaller you go, the opposite happens. Go over your items. This is what you would call your gear, your shoes, your headband, your arm sleeve. These all help your game improve better with lightning being the best out of all three tiers. I have the lightning sleeve max, the lightning headband max, and the lightning shoes maxed out. Go over badges. These are badges that help improve your game. Cosmetics. Yeah, the, the cosmetics over here and well, the jerseys. But over here, you can choose your dunk animations if you have enough money to buy them. When you get your special ability and you get to dunk, you can do that. And over here, your dunk effects. While you're dunking, you'll have a trail, whether that be a fire emoji trail, heart trail, lightning trail, stars, whatever. And your perfect colors, when you green a shot, that'll be the color of your green. Now, leaving customized, if you go into shop, you go into boxes. You can choose any of these six boxes. These have a chance to give you good gear or bad gear. It really depends on which one you get. To get lightning sleeves though, you will um, either go to a mythic box or epic if you want to. Rare and below, or rare, it has 1%. Uncommon and below, you will never get a legendary item. But the best ones to go to is the mythic or if you have the Robux legendary, this is a guaranteed legendary item. If you buy three of these, you will not get any duplicates and you'll get all three of the lightning items. Lightning shoes, sleeve, and um, headband. If you go over to cash, if you want to spend Robux on cash, you can. You don't have to, it's not that necessary. But you can though, it will help you upgrade your gear in the long run. All Star, you can buy the Game Pass All Star for pretty much 500 Robux if you want to double cash over lifetime um 50 percent more xp and a free all-star jersey and yeah that's for a customizing shop if you go to your friends lifts if you see a friend online on roblox or even in the game you can join them like my friend right here ultra cosboy i could join them in advanced server if i wanted to your settings these if you want the music on i'll turn it off effects on yes percentages next to your meter you'll see a percentage if you want you can turn it on or off the hand you shoot with left or right up to you and the meter color is just the color of your meter your achievements they just tell you the games you played over time well I almost have 100 games played a part of well, and how many you won you can do the math for how many you lost now of course if you're feeling extra fancy and you want a special way to play the game you can always just go over here under this basketball teleporter thing and the game mode will pop up for you or if you just want to walk up to this uh, little thing and buy the cash you can click on it, it'll take you to the cash yeah that's pretty much that now i want to go over items the item section real quickly you got shoes up headbands and sleeves each item that you have equipped can give you certain upgrades like if i were to go to my headband real quick upgrade i already use my upgrades but i could upgrade shooting contest or super um sleeves i could upgrade shooting contest or moving shot and for shoes 
uh, stamina moving shot or super. What I'd advise y'all to do with y'all money because y'all only get a certain amount of upgrade points and you can never like refund and get your upgrade points back and re-upgrade. For your shoes, I will upgrade stamina and moving shot. Leave super alone. You really don't need super in this game. Leave super alone. You'll get that over time. And for your headband, upgrade shooting and contest. Again, leave super alone. Now for your arm sleeve though, this gonna really depend on how you like to play. To be honest, I don't even know if I really upgraded it the way I wanted to, but I don't know. I, I still get iffy about it sometimes. But you have shooting, contest, and moving shot, as y'all seen in my previous videos, or not, go check them out. I run a badge called Acrobat, helps me with moving shots. I kind of wish I maxed out moving shot and not shooting, but it's, it's whatever though. You, you really just gotta play around with what you want and be extremely careful for what you upgrade because the more upgrade points you use, the less you have for other categories. And, and you know, as soon as you get zero upgrades left, I can no longer upgrade these. I, I can't, no, no more. Now I wanna go over the badges. The first badge being sharpshooter, scores standing three point shots. I'm pretty sure that's pretty easy. All you gotta do is stand behind the three point line. You can even shoot a full court shot and it will still count. That's sharpshooter. Inside shooter, all you gotta do is score t standing twos. Dimer, if you trust your teammates enough, all you gotta do is just pass them the ball, let them score, and bam. Lockdown, all you gotta do for this badge is just contest somebody. Acrobat, all you gotta do is do a moving shot. All Pretty much for Acrobat, it's a whole A or D or move left or right or even backwards and you'll trigger Acrobat. Now moving forwards will not trigger Acrobat unfortunately so yeah there's that adrenaline all you got to do is just have low stamina and then score when you see that little the words pop up that say like you have low stamina you got to manage your stamina better or whatever it said bro that's when you know adrenaline is going to work for you quick handles this is going to be the easiest badge but the longest badge in my opinion to grind all you got to do is do dribble moves left right left right just spam dribble moves and we'll get into the dribble moves in a second so don't so wait on that. Steady score, pretty much if you miss time your shot, if you get a poor release, steady score will take away the negative impact happening on your shot. Oh so yeah, all you gotta do is just shoot poor releases to grind steady score. Pickpocket, all you gotta do is just get, get steals. Just poke people and also get the ball once you poke it. Ooh. Consistent finisher, one of the easiest badges too to get, is just do layups. All you gotta do is run towards the hoop and hold E and shift. If you forget to hold shift, you're gonna do like a, a moving shot. So yeah, there's that. Intimidator, all you gotta do is just push the ball handler. This badge used to be OP and easy to get. That's why I have an amethyst. But now it might be a little bit harder, but hey, all you gotta do is when the person has the ball, just push them back. Hey, I got my hair back. But yeah, that's enough about badges. Now I wanna move on to the controls and you know how to play the game, literally and all that. Now, of course, if you click the question mark wherever you see it on your screen, you can see the controls Mail has put into the game to tell you. You know, passing, you can press R, which is directional, you can face your player. Or now you can tap the numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4, and on Xbox controller, one of the icons that you see your teammate have. And in the green bar and all this other stuff, you know. All these controls, shootings, handles. Oh, let me see the handles. Oh yeah, that, the handles, abilities, super gear badges and what they actually do so yeah if i didn't talk about that y'all can pause and read that if y'all want to or go into the game itself and read it yourself all right back to the controls though so when you get the ball my best shooting tip when you want to shoot is as soon as you see the bar halfway release it the bar is very quick so like and even if you don't know how to time your shot the best don't stress it because once you get high gear and good badges even if you miss time, like if I miss time on purpose without steady score, hold on, not pump fake. Can, can I get a shot? I'll get like a 73% and it's still in. Like, timing doesn't really matter. Even if I uh get a bounce back, I can still make that sometimes. Like, timing really doesn't matter too, too much. You can ask all the pro players. Maybe if you're slightly contesting, try to get a perfect release. But if you're really going to stress it, oh, I shot on the wrong side. If you're really going to stress getting perfect releases, I just say release when you see the bar halfway or find your own cue for, that works for you because 
my tip may not work for you. Maybe you have to see the bar literally at the tippy top. And you probably have quick reaction time to let go, unlike me, so. Now that's just for shooting a regular standing shot. If you want to do a fadeaway, like I said earlier, I believe, just move around. You can, you can even hold shift and just do a fadeaway like that. Same release timing for me. The release when you see the bar at least halfway. So yeah, and then um, watch if I go forward, Acrobat does not light up. I'm, I'm hovering over the Acrobat badge right now. See, if I go to the right, Acrobat lights up to the left, it'll light up backwards, it'll light up. But if I go forward, it will not light up, it will not give me the boost. All right, here's how you do a layup. What you do, you just run, shift, and hold E. It's, it's that simple. If you forget to hold shift, you will do a regular moving shot and it will not even count for acrobat so don't even do that do a layup just like that going bang and pump faking as you've seen earlier all you got to do is tap the shoot button or tap e or tap x whatever your shoot button is whatever your platform you're playing on there's that now let's get into the most asked question dribble moves how do you do the behind the back how do you do the crossover how do you do this on controller how do you do this that 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 i got y'all so let's go back to the question mark especially for keyboard and mouse players it will definitely tell you how to dribble hold on handles it'll tell you each dribble move c z x behind the back cx zx xx now when it comes to the advanced dribble moves such as the behind the, the, behind the back uh, behind the back and the tween move you have to do the dribble moves fast like you can't just press x once and then x again a second later and expect to get a tween move no you got to do it fast the input time is pretty fast on this game just do it fast it's a fast paced game get used to it behind the back as you've seen the control set and um xbox it'll be left down on the d-pad do it behind the back to the right hand and the opposite for to uh, do it to your left hand like it, it's just pr pretty simple to me now I hope Mail watches this part at least and adds a spin move because if he adds a spin move that's going to be fire. And then crossover is just C or Z, pretty basic. Step back is just it's just it's just X. That, that's all it is. All right, the last uh, control I have for y'all since my meter is here is super. You can either type tap V if you're on PC or click on the bar. Oh, you can't click on the bar no more. Oh, whatever. Just tap V or whatever it says for you to activate super. Sometimes if you're moving, you'll do a little spin. Then hold V to dunk. You'll get into the little pose. You can dunk from as far as half court. And then you'll jump up to your dunk animation and you see the trail and you dunk it just like that. And then as soon as you dunk it, if you still have some super meter left, it, you cannot dunk again. It will drain faster than it's draining when you first activate it. So there's the controls for y'all. All right, the last thing I just want to go over about this game that everything you should know is how to get money fast in this game. Pretty much when you play, you couldn't play park. It's more comp, more intense games in park, but standard is the way to go if you want to grind your money faster. Because if you get star player, I've got it was 75 times, you get bonus money along with all the additional money with the points you scored, all that. So that's how you can get money fast. And of course, you can always buy it. I bought this, um, I think like once, yeah, yeah, that cost a lot. I had to only buy this once to pretty much upgrade, where is it, my uh, lightning gear. Because the, ex the upgrades are kind of expensive. I had the Robux to get that, so yeah, no, all that money. I think I touched everything. Uh, did I, did I, I, I'm looking around. I pretty much think I, I touched everything. Yeah, all right, yeah. It's been your boy, Kawan. If you liked the video, if you made it this far, first of all, like the video and subscribe if you are new because i mean you made it this far must be something you liked about it like come on come on let, let me know if you have any further questions about this game just let me know in the comments below either i or somebody else that plays this game will help you you know get that problem solved hopefully i covered everything that was important for sure and in the small stuff as well so yeah that's everything you should know about basketball stars too and if there's future updates i will talk about them in the next newer videos so subscribe turn notes on i'm making more basketball stars content so you know stick here for the ride and i'm out y'all peace